This is officially the year for FNAF. If you are a FNAF fan now and have been in the fandom for at least the past two to three months, you are probably like, wow, FNAF gets so much news. But if you've been a fan for years and you know that this is the year for FNAF, and let me tell you why, and if you're a fan, you don't even need to know why. So starting back like in the beginning of May, we could definitely say that May has been the craziest month for FNAF. Like, Without doubt, it's been the craziest month because that's where we got all the reveals. We got all the official releases for all that stuff. It's just so much all starting off with the movie. We all know in the beginning of May, we got ourselves a couple of posters in the movie. The movies in the, in the first day, got like the first poster, the character posters. And he's like, you want more Blumhouse? And then we got ourselves the first teaser, the very first look at the movie. And it was amazing. And we all thought that that was amazing. This is finally peak FNAF, you know? But things just got better. Not even like a week after that. It was like within the exact same time period. Like last Friday at the time I'm recording this had been like, what, one week ago? FNAF Security Breach Ruin got its own gameplay trailer and it was wild. We saw so much. It was just like crazy. It came out of nowhere, almost mocking an entire year since they announced it with nothing else except for that one poster and that one leak to TV. But beside that, we got literally nothing and then Ruin came out of nowhere with everybody saying, this is the year for FNAF, you know? But then we all didn't think any more could come from it. But no, who knew what would come out in less than a week? After the Ruin trailer. Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2 is what officially like did the tipping iceberg for the month of FNAF or kind of the year of FNAF because this is definitely the year for FNAF. Um, what is this like a PlayStation Live event that was on? We're all just chilling watching it. I wasn't really expecting anything but what I was expecting was a little bit of like a FNAF a uh, ruined teaser is a little bit different, but I wasn't expecting Help Wanted 2. And I think we can all say this. No, none of us. No one was ever expecting Help Wanted 2. Even Darko started screaming. But as you guys can honestly know, if you know FNAF Help Wanted, it was a VR game, and now we're finally getting a new VR game full of a, of a whole bunch of brand new characters, new jump scares, new levels, new stories, everything we can actually dream of. It's happening. We're getting it. Let's just hope we get some FNAF 6 and maybe even Security Breach characters there. You know, I, I would like them. Please. Please. But yeah, we got all this in just the month of May. But the, th the reason why this is not called the month for FNAF and it's called the year for FNAF is because all this stuff did not release in this month. Yes, we got the official release dates for all this stuff, like Help Wanted in late 2023, uh, Ruben in like July, and of course the movie at the end in October, also late 2023. The reason why I'm not calling this month of FNAF because all we got is a whole bunch of releases in this month. But when it comes to the actual release of the full entire games and movies those are still happening during the year so that's why it's called the year for fnaf not to also mention we got ourselves a brand new book cover and also the the new finest of freddy's fazra frights graphic novels and the brand new tales from the pizza plex books releasing during this entire year like what else can we ask for we got a three picture movie deal knowing that there's going to be three new movies very first trailer the movie coming out a whole bunch of finest of freddy's books the new dlc for ruined for a Final Fantasy security breach and a brand new game being help wanted too all in the span of one year it's definitely giving some 2004 vibes and all four of the FNAF games just came out one through four just came out in the exact year but this is definitely I don't know if this is the craziest because we're getting a whole movie and like a VR game lots of books this is definitely the year for FNAF and if you're not a FNAF fan I definitely do think it's time for you to become one because you're you're definitely missing out